Hey lovelies. So I'm currently taking down my hair. I want it to be up with my word on a person of my word by I remember saying that I was gonna go on and show you guys um me taking down my hair so it can be for content. I don't know why, but I'm just so excited for having my glasses back. So you remember the glasses I had placed on earlier and they fell off my face. So I got them sized so it can fit my face better. And now I, I'm i loving it. Like, I didn't think I would be that person to be like, I miss my glasses or miss wearing fitted glasses. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. Because at first there was a time you couldn't get me to place my glasses on. But now that I'm like older and I'm realizing that it's important and it's actually like an accessory wearing glasses I'm pretty cool with it even though the reason why I really do need to wear my glasses is from far distance to see that's all while driving or just in general but um I am at home at duh but i'm at home and i am like on my phone watching movies sticking to myself um i'm also just you know encouraging myself on you know in the making and just like it's just some good things are coming and some good things are coming along and sometimes in order for good things to happen, you got to let some of the bad things go. Like things that may have, um, can be baggage. And I'm feeling like, you know, a lot of it was just me overthinking and overpouring, oversharing, overanalyzing, not thinking, but, you know, just overly doing things of my part. And I, I really will like, apologize to myself for doing it for so long and it's like um, I know every day is different so I can feel this way today and be a hot mess tomorrow but even if I'm a hot mess tomorrow I'm gonna take some good out of it so right now I am um, making sure I'm taking this hair down uh, yes as you see I'm parting it because I'm gonna be doing a hot oil treatment for my hair I got the sniffles because I'm cold but um yeah i'm just um parting my hair because i'm gonna do a hot oil treatment i figured out how to do it so i'm just gonna you know do a trial run i may not do it as like other people have have that you've seen do but i'm just doing what i feel is best for me and my hair and i'll learn as i go along but morally just to say um I hope you guys are having a great night. I hope you guys had a great, just in general, like your day and you accomplished a lot. Even if you were like cleaning your home, doing laundry, um, homework, because I know a lot of people are back into school or, you know, at work and you finish your shifts, just whatever it was. I hope that you finish what you had to do today and I hope that you're meeting all your goals and you're just being the best person, the best version for you. I'm learning since I've been detaching myself from other things is you have to do what's best for you at the end of the day because people are going to be people and they're going to always do what's best for them. And you have to do what's best for you, whether you're dating, whether you're in a friendship, whether you're in a family dynamic where everybody just dumps things on you or you're everyone's therapist or everyone's go-to, you need to do something for yourself. And it was a powerful lesson that I'm learning and I had to learn. And I also was spoken to by a random person. She doesn't know me. I don't know her. And how she always, how she told me actually how it's so important to place yourself in a schedule so that way you can do something for yourself and today i did something for myself and it was a little bit of a sacrifice but it wasn't bad um i went and i got um a very 
healing treatment that I needed for myself and um, I just got to keep being consistent. I hope to see good results as well and I hope to um, I just hope for the best for myself and I'm not gonna lie y'all I'm pretty nervous with letting anyone like get too close to me because I'm in this stage of um, let me heal right now let me let me get myself together and let me concentrate on myself and just build and find my way right now because it's a little scary out here being a 20 something year old woman and you hear the many things whether on social media or people in general how someone can smile in your face or give you everything you want to hear but yet in action fail to be a hundred with you or just no one really knows how to truly be a friend no one really cares about other people anymore unless it's something to benefit themselves and there are a few people good people out there I will say there are a few good people out there but it's just it's a few and once you have a great person in your life whoever's like yeah, whether it's a friend husband um wife it can be your mom it can be your dad it can be your brothers your sisters cousins anyone in your life please hold on to them like if you're watching this video please hold on to really good people in your life I have a few um it's not a lot I'll tell you that but when you come across a really good person please do not treat them like trash please um you don't have to agree with everything they tell you that you don't have to like them every day but respect them consider that the only reason why they come to you and tell you the truth and they can be doing anything else and everything else but they chose to stick beside you and be a hundred with you that's so priceless nowadays like you know like really hold on to people that's the real ones because out here people are something else so like uh you know i wish you like i don't even know i'm on that subject for real but everybody is not your friend everybody do not want the best for you and there are people that you would think that's your friend and would want the best of you they're just around because of the benefit and they're around to because you allow them to people only do what you allow them to do to you and you have to respect yourself you have to even when it hurts like i'm going through something right now it's painful I mean, a lot of people go through stuff, so I'm not going to, you know, hold on to it for too long, but many people go through things, and the main people, like, you expect more from are sometimes the ones that you get less from, so just really be mindful and careful, you know, how you really treat people in these times, because you never know what people go through, like, I fell short in that, you know, and I can really much say, like, you know, I wish I would have done better in how I respond and how I dealt with things because I didn't know how to deal with it. So, um, just be mindful. And also, I want to say, um, like, going to another subject, because that's a little touchy right now for me. Um, I am going to be going... Uh, going to be going. I'm going to be headed to, um, I don't know if it's Alta, Sephora. I think it's Alta. Anywho, I'm going to one of those stores because Alta, Sephora, to me, they're like the same. One and two and one. Uh, I'm going to be going to get some, just to see, I guess, about skincare items because I really don't need any more oil. I'm looking in my room now. I found what I needed and it's already up here. I don't need no more stuff. As you see in the back of me, that's a bunch of hair products and makeup. It's it's a lot of stuff back here. And I need to have a organizer as well. So other than that, um one of these days I'm gonna do my makeup on here and just because and like actually go out somewhere so you guys can see what it looks like in the sun or lighting wherever I may go so 
Um, let's see, let's see. But yeah, I'm supposed to be doing that because it's the 27th and the coupon that I have um, that I, I think I placed it in my car. I'm not 100%, but I believe I placed it in my car. I want to hurry up and use it because it's actually expiring this month. So I must use it because like having any type of amount off and like it adds up real like it's a really great deal and especially when you have really good products and they're over 20 or whatever however much amount just having that coupon helps a lot so that's what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna do the best i can tomorrow i gotta go to an appointment that I went to today, which I did good. Everything is well. We're great. Um, I need to take care of some business early in the morning. And then as well, I need to do laundry. Yes, laundry. <laughs> so I got to clean my covers, bed sheets, pillows, get some more pillows. Uh, that's going to be another day, another time, but very near. And... I'm going to do a lot for myself. I'm going to do a lot for myself. And, um, yeah, I'm thinking about making some dinner for today, tonight, because I'm starting to get a little hungry. So I was thinking about making some um, something for myself and making a little bit more for others, whoever would like to try it and i've been in the kitchen a little bit more because why not if i love to eat and everything which i do i can throw down and i just want to be able to cook properly and efficiently and effectively um so that way not all the time i have to go out to eat only thing i gotta do is just buy whatever i need and do what i need to do in the kitchen so yeah so this is like mainly an update video thinking ahead plan like yeah <laughs> so it's a just do it just do it season and that's what i'm realizing it took me a while but i'm realizing it more no one's not gonna help no one's not gonna do you gotta do it for yourself and eventually if you do get help awesome if you don't that's straight that's fine but if you want something, you got to do it. If you need something, you got to grab it. And, of course, with the help of God or whatever you believe in. But God is what does it for me every time. Um, You just, you got to depend on yourself. Everybody going through something. So I'm trying not to take nothing to heart, which is a process for me. But lately here, I've been getting a better. I've been getting better. And. I've been trying not to allow things to get to me. I just mind my business, truly. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't concern me. And what concerns me right now is growing my channel, doing what I love to do, um, getting the appropriate equipment that I need, learning how to edit. Because I really do not know how to edit, guys. So please, if you guys could like go in the comment section, um, if you guys know how to do certain stuff on here, please let me know. So some some things I would like to cut out. Some things I like to stay in just to have a raw type of feel. But even how to do the intros and everything, like, please, I need help. But if not, I'm going to learn as I go. Thank you for even watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm just going to stay on here until I'm finished with my whole head. Hopefully it's not too, too long. Because we're already in 14 minutes. So I think I could finish this. Let me see. But yeah. Oh, y'all. Your girl been. She been life. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I will not take it for granted. Because there's people that do not have the things that I have. There's people that have don't have anything so that's why i really do try every day do the best i can to be grateful about something than be ungrateful about everything and 
I'm good on that. Things that I have today I didn't have like yesteryear. I'll tell you that much. So I'm grateful and every day. Um you wanna know something strange not strange, but you wanna know something. Lately here I've been talking to like a lot of people from my past that I used to talk with and know. They're starting to reach out again. There are some that I'm not for my reasoning gonna respond to them. But there's a few that's like that we left on really good terms and we're okay. And it's like, dang, I haven't heard of you. How's everything? How's life? How's the family? Like, you know, it's like really good, really, really good. So, um, some I'm a little nervous because I'm like, okay, what's your intentions after so long? Because I've had Facebook, I've had uh, Instagram, I've had TikTok for a while. So, what, what now? What's going on for you to reach out? And other people, you just never know. They probably watched from afar, didn't know what to say, didn't know, you know, if it's okay to talk to you, and they finally did. So, yeah, it's mainly like that. But I will say a lot of certain people in my past that I did not expect to come out in the blue. Some I, like, really forgot about because, you know, busy with everything, getting the channel together. Making sure like I'm keeping up with myself, my anything around me. Um, just making sure, man, like making sure I'm doing what I need to do for myself. And just being the best person I can be, for real. I um what else am I doing? Oh yeah. I know this is not important, but it's important to me in a sense. So lately I have been logging into Uno. Usually I don't. Uh, but I, I ooh, excuse me, <laughs> jump scare. No, but um, I've been like logging in on Uno, and you know, been getting them free little coins, the little free videos and stuff, so you can get coins and stuff. And I like, I want a game today. It was like, it was something like, <laughs> but like, um, it was just cool, just like to go on Uno, like play by myself with random people. Sometimes I do play with other people like we on the same team, but sometimes they get on my nerve because it'd be like, can you draw this card? Like nobody, not everybody, not gonna do the same thing as you. Not everybody has the same thought process too. But it it just aggravates. Like we could have won. Sorry, I got here. Okay. Nope, it's not there. Sorry, I don't play that here stuff. Mouth or airway. But um, some just people just don't think and play like you do, and they'll cost you the game. And I'm like, dang, I'm very competitive, certain stuff. But I'm gonna just throw it. Yeah, I'm competitive. But it's just be like, dang, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, so I played that, doing good. I want to play my game, The Sims, but. I need to take care of my priorities first, get this hair washed, get that, um, get my hot oil treatment going on, which you already know about that. Then I want to do something to my hair. I'm thinking about a two pigtail with like, a, I don't know, like, I always love a zigzag part because it's like fun, cute, something up to my age and stuff. And then have some little hair coming out, my hair, like little danglies coming out that's what i'm thinking though that's just a thought and um you know just wear that and swoop the dupe my little edges but if not brush it just go straight back i was gonna do eco styling gel the last time i tried eco styling uh with the preferred edge control it broke me out a little bit like it was a sensitivity mark so that meant my hair or skin was agitated by it so i think the edges did last though it lasts but it was just i noticed it was irritation and then plus like it doesn't help like i was itching it and stuff like that so i kind of pulled some of my hair but i'm gonna you know take care of it do what i need to do and just leave my oil in and let my hair alone let it let it grow like i've been said since i did my hair last time and it was in the bathroom so yeah but um 
yeah so right now that's what i'm doing i'm thinking about some very creative things that i would like to do for you guys on this channel i got a few trips i'm going to go to i got a few ideas i would like to do and i'm going to do number one being something special i'm not gonna say a word it's kind of hard and then number two what was number two though i need to have a vision board so number one, I already know that. And then number two, I quickly forgot it. Oh, I remember. So I'm going to write it on my board because I really don't want to forget. Because sometimes I have so many ideas and I really do need to keep like um, a writing utensil near me. Pardon me. I don't think I have a... Do I have a writing utensil near me for this? that would have been not cool i still would have posted the video though that's how much i want to be consistent and growing with my content with you all all right so I'm just writing it down so I don't forget. Bear with me. Alright. So, we wrote it down. Now we gotta make the vision plain. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, right now, what is going on? My phone went off like twice. I think it's funny how when I'm on my business, I got all these little notifications be popping up on my phone and stuff. But that's just how it be. When you just thriving, and sometimes it's okay. Thrive by yourself, thrive alone. That's when everything comes into for into fruition, the things that you are no longer trying to force. So, yeah. I'm just doing me and minding my own but i hope you guys once again are doing okay you know make sure you share make sure you comment engage with me i will engage back with you um please check out the description box i don't know if anybody has been reading it but lately here i've been trying to get better with like writing in the description box the description box for youtube is literally when you it's like a little icon button and it'll like um say other things like my social medias it's like my instagram my tiktok and then it'll say like little messages sometimes i put down scriptures other times i put down like like just in general like my thoughts and everything like that so just a heads up i don't think I've ever said this so that's why I'm like okay let me speak up because how would someone know if you don't say it so yeah so I'm gonna I don't know should I get off because it's like this video is long and I feel like I'm not going as fast because I'm talking on here but I do know how to multitask but I feel like I'm not as quicker taking my hair down versus when I was off camera Yeah. I'm a little nervous, y'all, because uh, when I was taking one of my braids down in the back lower area of my hair, um, I had to kind of pull out my the little extensions, hair extensions or whatever, and I'm not for sure if that like took out a chunk or a piece of because I don't like I like getting my hair trimmed yes but I hope I didn't tear my hair out long story short so yeah and I'm so freaking irritated because my hair is gonna be fine that's good but I'm talking about this drink now that I see it on the floor right now of my bedroom it was supposed to be in the freezer. I don't know if anybody knows about these frosty drinks. 
and I had kept it in the freezer and I believe one of my family members or maybe I did take it took it out and now it's watery it has no flavor so I hope nobody that they don't watch it too too fast but I'm gonna do something about it that's all I'm gonna say because my mom be watching this and I don't want her to be like girl don't you do that but yeah <laughs> Maybe she'll drink stuff like because she don't like a lot of sugar in her in her juices and stuff. Ugh. It's like I know sugar is bad, but I like flavor, so I'm, I don't know. I don't like bland stuff. Mm. Like if I'm trying to be cute or something, like I may try it. Like I tried this elderberry water with I don't know what type of mixture, but when I tell you I was judging, I was judging hard. But then when I drunk it, it was good. It's like my taste buds were like, okay, it's not nasty, but what is this? And I remember the lady told me from earlier, uh, it had elderberry in it. And she said something else. But I remember I remember elderberry because my Mima, which is my other grandmother, um, on my dad's side, she always told me about essential oils. And she told me about the benefits of it. You know, she was she was educating me about some of these things. So when they said elderberry, that was the first thing I thought was of her because she uses it for, you know, for her water. She uses it for her, you know, for her personal use. And I was like, OK, OK. And mind you, I haven't really done it, which I want to get into that as well. Like getting the what is those things called? You know, when you play something like um a freshener part on um like a freshener instead of like a plug-in you plug it in yet and still but it has like liquid or whatever and it have a steam or i could just get the whole thing because i've seen it in marshall's other little stores or even kroger and i think it's an air diffuser i don't know the proper name i'm gonna have to figure that out on youtube but it looks interesting and then it keeps the house fresh and stuff because I'm not gonna lie y'all when I have my um, plug-in freshness from Bath and Body Works I don't smell it it's not potent enough like I don't want nothing to where I'm gagging or anything like too crazy but it's like I do not smell it and I'm like okay and I'm buying all the stuff and I'm not I've been kind of wanting to chill off at Bath and Body Works anyway the only reason why I would do Bath and Body Works because it's a gift or a sale, but I don't really go because it's like when I have a scent, I want it to be smelled. I want to smell it and I want it to be smelled. <laughs> so yeah. But other than okay, we done. Yeah, we done. Now we gotta go to this side. But other than that, um, I don't know if you guys want a longer, longer video because I don't want to like prolong it too, too long. But I only have literally maybe eight more braids left. I'm just guesstimating. So I'm going to sign off here and call it a night whenever you guys watch this. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully I can post a picture of what I'm going to do to my hair. But first I got to see if I can execute it first. And we're just going to go from there. Alright. Take care y'all. Bye.